and I previously reviewed the Ting Diagnostic OBD2 Scan Tool, which has full bi-directional capabilities on the channel. If you guys want to see that full review, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. However, on that review, I mentioned that this device is a subscription-based service device, which means after one year, the subscription expires and you get a chance to renew if you choose to. Now on that review video, I mentioned that not all the functions of the scanner stop after one year. It actually continues to work to a certain extent. So with that being said, let me show you what this device looks like after one year. And also I'll put a link to this device in the description down below in case you wanna check it out and get one for yourself. And notice that the interface is pretty much the same as it was before the one year expiration mark. But let's go inside of the very first module, which is the All Systems Diagnostic. And here we can see the very first difference. When I scroll down here to the different car mix, you'll see that now it says Renew. And I'll do a split screen so you can see what this screen looked like before. But also notice the date format that Ting Diag uses for the expiration date. This one says 11-8-2023. And I thought it was November 8th of 2023. And then I remember that I got this thing around August of last year. So sure enough, this is actually 11th of August of 2023. What's also interesting is we know that this device is gonna support one car make model of your choice and that will support will continue even after the expiration date the only thing we don't get is updates however when i go into the module i can access the module that i originally selected it looks like i have to pay for it again well there's actually a way to continue to access this module and i'll show you that in a little bit but let's also take a look at that bin decoding function which is part of the all systems diagnostic and that function is actually not gonna work anymore after the one year let's Let's see what happens. The tool is going to attempt to access that. And as you can see, it was not able to function. It again takes me to the renew page, even though I use this tool with this Crytek Dodge Jeep module before, which again, I'm going to show you how to access it. So you don't actually have to renew it. And I know there's plenty of mechanics that don't use the auto bin function. So they're probably not going to care about that, but let's look at the maintenance functions. And here again, we see another change. Notice how different it looks. None of the modules are accessible anymore. And again, I'll do a split screen. So you can see that these modules were accessible before the one year expiration. And it is important to point out that these modules can potentially work with multiple vehicles where the modules are showed you before are specific to different car mix for example let's take a look again at that chrysler dodge jeep module that i got if i wanted to bleed the brakes on that particular car i still can however if i wanted to do it on a different brand i'm gonna have to go to maintenance functions and here's the bleeding it does no longer work again because we passed that one year mark however the one module that remains unchanged is the obd functions module and this allows basic obd scan functions it can work as a wireless obd2 scanner and it's gonna connect to pretty much any car that supports obd2 regardless if the one year expiration time has passed or not and notice how it is able to read the vin of the vehicle it's able to read that check engine light and tell us how many codes are set or how many dtcs are set on the computer and also the status of the emissions readiness testing you're also able to read live data from the vehicle just like before and you can select the parameters that you want you're also able to read those dtcs those fault codes or check engine light related codes you're also able to get a report from them and all the other functions that we had under the standard obd2 scan tool functionality continue to work including the ability to clear the check engine light and the last two tabs on here reports and history continue to work also as you can see if i go into reports you can see that those reports are still created and same thing with history if i go into history you can see that the history is still accessible and it is important to be able to access the history because this is how i can get to the advanced functions 
after that one year expiration mark. And remember what we lost was the ability to update those special functions. Now in an older car like the one I am using this for, it is unlikely that it's gonna be receiving much updates because over so many years they have figured out already pretty much all the different diagnostic functions. So this is a great example where I am completely okay not receiving updates, but still being able to have bi-directional capabilities. Let's take a look at Hell Report. Yep, Health Report is currently working on this tool even though we are already past the one year expiration mark and we are able to get that diagnostics report and also export it out as a PDF. And here's what it looks like when you generate that PDF, we have that summary of the issues that were found by the Health Report. Also within this page, we do have the option to clear those DTCs and make those check engine lights go away or rescan the vehicle. And the third function, which is called system selection, allows us to access that particular system, which in this case is the PCM. And here's what this tool continues to work as an advanced diagnostic bi-directional tool. Let's check out the very first one. We know we can also read the codes from the vehicle. We can access the freeze frame data. And we know we can also see live data. However, the advantage of this working as an advanced tool is that it can read live data from advanced functions that the car may have that OBD2 normal functionality may not provide. So going to that OBD2 scan option may not show you all of the live data that you are able to see as opposed to going directly into the advanced tool mode where now you can see a lot more parameters and the parameters are gonna be presented in the way that the factory intended for those for car diagnostics. And the real fun stuff, which is the bi-directional control, is accessible. I'm gonna go into actuation and as you can see here are the different tests that this particular car supports and I am able to go into those and turn them on or turn them off if desired. Something that only normally can be done with bi-directional tools. Also using the data stream option allows us to see the live data as is being affected by the particular function that we are starting to activate. But also we have some special functions that are, again are only part of an advanced OBD2 scan tool and you can continue to access those. And we still have access to the system test that this particular vehicle support. And finally, we are able to see the OBD2 monitors. And I'll scroll down through here so you can see what those monitors can potentially be. Again, for this vehicle, they're gonna vary from car to car on how many monitors you can actually access. And finally, we have the special function, which on this particular vehicle, there's only one function available for us to access. So as you saw, there's quite a bit of options still available after the one year expiration time frame. Now, I do wish that Tink Diag would make Make the subscription model a little bit more clear. I've looked through all their listings and both on their websites and on Amazon and they're not very easy to understand until you actually play with it. They're usually one or two sentences on there but I think if they really had a nice big graphic that said this is what you get in one year. This is what you get after the one year. This is what you get when you renew. And I'll try to clarify as best as I can the way that this works. When this is brand new and you buy it, you get one year or full bi-directional support for one vehicle make. And the services modules are a little bit different from the bi-directional control. Those, because they're service modules, those will work with multiple car makes and they will work for one year. And as you saw, after one year, we no longer have access to the service module such as ABS bleeding or e-parking brake adjustment reset. All those modules that can work with multiple cars are now gone and require renewal. Now what's interesting is that as you saw, you can renew them individually or you can go and renew the module that includes a particular brand. So let's try this example one more time. If I wanted to access ABS bleeding for Dodge, 
I have two options. I can either renew the Dodge brand or I can renew the module that I need. Let's talk about ABS. Like if I renew the ABS module, I'm gonna have full access to that module for one year, but it's gonna work for multiple cars. So my final recommendation is this. This tool is gonna be a good choice for anybody who's in a budget and would like to pay as they go, basically a la carte. You're gonna be able to have one year of a lot of capability, and after that, you're gonna be able to add only as you need to. Now, if you are looking to work on multiple vehicles and you know you want a bi-directional tool because you plan to use it in many jobs and you already know that up front and the budget is not a constraint, you can skip this and jump into one that has all of those features in there and a screen. But remember, be aware that there is some cost again with updates to those scanners just like they are with this. So if you guys have any other questions regarding the TIG diagnostic device, please put that in the comments down below. Remember, I put a link below also to this device if you wanna get one for yourself and a link to my original review for it so you can see the rest of these features. And stay tuned as I have a lot more OBD2 scan tool reviews coming up. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.